After taking a break for quite some time now, again, I finally got another opportunity to make a new video. This is a cute and neat little system. This is an Acer Veritone uh, It's a Veritone L410 and I can tell you this one hasn't been used for a very very long time um, It's collected with uh, full of dust and uh, the case is uh, in a pretty bad shape, it's uh, kind of beat up we have four USB 2.0 ports, headphone and microphone jacks, it uses a slim slot DVD drive, network activity light, optical drive activity light, a hard drive activity light, power button and power light. <coughs> and this one is made in December 2007, so this one is pretty old. On the back, we have two cooling fans, they're pretty clocked. Sound, it uses DVI, you have four more USB 2.0s, Ethernet, which is gigabit, and a power jack, and uh, Wi-Fi, TV in, FM, AV in, and HDMI was an option. Uh, also 1394 was an option, but it wasn't included in this one um, Again, this one is pretty darn clocked. It's kind of beat up and it does power up um, However, it doesn't post uh, Let's uh, let's see if I can get a shot Yeah, fans are Fans are there kind of speed up and we got nothing on the screen so let's see if we can do anything about this one I've heard this one is uh, it's pretty easy to fix we'll see what we can do I'll be right back yeah it's pretty easy to fix um, these type of computers it's a very ton L410 and I found a post on the Acer site uh, which told me the solution which was a new CMOS battery it used a CR2032 and luckily I have one right here so you know what that means right yes we're gonna fix this up Taking this Acer Veriton L410 apart is pretty much straightforward. There's one screw here on the back which you can remove with a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna do that right now. When you get that screw removed, the panel just slides back and you can lift it up. Now, I expect a lot of dust. And I can also I already see a lot of dust, just as I suspected. Now normally there's one little screw right there, but it isn't there. The second step is to remove the faceplate, and there are three little tabs that you need to pull up gently and pull it away, like so. Some more dust. <laughs> And then the tray, just by wiggling, it comes off. And yeah, a lot of dust. All right, the CMOS battery is. Let's see if I can get a better shot. It's right there. So it's very easy. You can just <sighs> and install a new CMOS battery and we're all set. So I'm going to connect the system up back again 
and see what happens. All right, the system is connected. I haven't assembled it at the moment because I first want to see if this thing works. So we're gonna turn this thing up with a new seamless battery and see if it works. Hey, nice. One gig of RAM and a 4200 plus. Not bad. Let's get the setup. Holy crap, it works. This is pretty old BIOS. It's only from 2007. Definitely gonna upgrade that later. Maybe on. <laughs> nice. This thing is used last time in 2013. Maybe since then the system stopped working. Um, so we're gonna see if we can go any further. Now it doesn't detect the uh, optical drive for some reason. But we're gonna see uh, if this thing works. So I'm gonna set the time and date to the correct uh, settings. Uh, what date it is again? I have to look up right now. 28. 2016 and it is 6 36 it has one gig of RAM that's that's pretty darn good and saying that this thing has a 4200 plus uh, for that time being very nice this thing Let's see if this thing boots. Not bad. It has Windows 7 on it. Yeah, I like it so far. Looks like it's gonna work. Awesome. Hmm. Holy crap. It's let's see if I can go through some settings. Uh Oh, we're working on it. Um, my mouse doesn't work at the moment, so I'm gonna try the old fashioned way 4200 plus, 2.2 gigahertz, 1 gig of RAM, and it's a 32 bit operating system. Uh, wants to activate, but that's not gonna work at the moment. Mm. I'm gonna no, it doesn't detect the optical drive. Hmm. Maybe a uh, cable that is not um, connected properly. But otherwise, the system is functioning. So I call this one fixed up. I'll take it to my work. Maybe I'm gonna upgrade it. And of course, I'm gonna clean it up. Maybe gonna use it. Who knows? I call this computer fixed.
So this is gonna be it for this old Acer Veriton L410. Yeah, it was a Lucy cable inside the computer. Because um, it was uh, disconnected while I was working on it here on the back and um, it's uh, detected and when we press this button the light works so great so I'm gonna wrap it up for this old computer so once again, I'll talk to you guys later.